summer. The perfect time to take a trip to a calm, relaxing, white, sandy beach made of fish droppings. Wait, what? Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. That's right. That white sand you love digging your toes into is mostly made of parrotfish droppings. So who are these exterior decorating fish? And how do their droppings turn into sand? And how many more times am I gonna be saying droppings in this story? Parrotfish are omnivores with crazy looking teeth. No, really. Um, can we get a picture up right here? But those aren't ordinary teeth. The crystalline structure of their teeth is so sturdy, it would beat gold, copper, and silver in a fracture test. So I guess they basically have a built-in grill. Nice. If you were a dentist, you'd love these little guys. They have about a thousand teeth arranged in 15 rows, with new teeth constantly replacing old ones. These guys would absolutely bankrupt the tooth fairy. And those teeth are fused to their jawbone to form their super strong fish beaks, which allow them to rip off chunks of coral from reefs. Then they pulverize the coral by grinding their other set of teeth, which are in their throat, in order to get the algae-filled polyps inside. The coral then gets broken down, disposed of, and turned into that beautiful South Pacific white sand. This is prop sand, right? But all the coral eating isn't just to give us this beautiful sand. It's actually super helpful when it comes to controlling algae populations. See, when the parrotfish eats the algae-filled coral, they create gaps in the reef that allow for baby coral to attach to and grow. And that's called bioerosion, which is the breakdown of hard ocean substrates like coral by living organisms. In this case, the parrotfish. They're basically helping the coral stay healthy and thrive so they can live their best life. We love an ocean advocate. Now the answer to the question I know you're all wondering. How much of this sand do we get from these parrotfish? Well, scientists estimate that a single parrotfish can churn out several hundred pounds of sand each year. And they typically live to be five to seven years. That's a lot of sand. So the next time you're on a Caribbean vacation, having the time of your life on that white sandy beach, don't forget to thank the parrotfish, because without them, we would just have boring, regular beach sand. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.